Welcome to our channel Isa na namang magandang araw At isa na namang magandang kwento para sa inyo Dahil Nagpunta kami Sa isang Pagbibigay ng tulong Ito yung coverage natin Na pagpresent ni Serenity Ng kanyang Portion na kinita During October to December So meron siyang tinulungan na isang Organization na tumutulong din sa mga bata ito yung bata na hindi lang bata pero ang mga bata ito ay mayroong cancer so different kinds of cancer na nagbibigay ng tulong ng pagstay during dun sa mga chemotherapy nila yung sa pag uh, papa check up nila halos karamihan dito ay mga nanggaling sa mga probinsya na wala silang matutuloy yan dito sa ating lugar sa Manila na ang kanilang means ng pagpapagaling ay through dun sa hospital na malapit doon. Kaya ang problema nila is yung kanilang tutuluyan, tutulugan, makakain. So alam naman natin kapag uh, therapy, maraming gastusin. So ito yung way ng organization na ito na tumulong. Ang pangalan ng organization is Bahay Aruga, which is from the Aruga itself talagang inaaruga nila yung mga patients mga, mga bata na mayroong cancer so panoorin alamin ko ano yung kung paano rin kayo makatulong so watch the interview dun sa owner ng Serenity at yung nagmamanage ng Bahay Aruga okay. ano lang background from how Bahay Aruga started although alam naman niya maras marilisar pero we want to hear it from you bakit niyo sinumpisahan itong Bahay Aruga? I started Bahay Aruga in 2014. Actually, we just celebrated our 5th year anniversary last month. Mm -hmm. um, Bahay Aruga started with a vision and mission to increase the survival rate of the children afflicted with different kind of cancer. Mm -hmm. These kids, they come from different provinces. So they go to the hospital, uh, particularly here in Manila, PGH Cancer Institute to get their treatment. Mm -hmm. They didn't know that uh, the treatment of cancer is too long. So, uh, actually, yung kanilang treatment back in the province, hindi yan available. Eh. So they are forced na mag-travel sa Manila to have their kids na ipatrate. And I'm so fr proud of them kasi walang-wala yung mga yan eh. But then, ilalaban nila yung buhay ng mga anak nila. For them to travel to Manila, na-experience sila matulog along Taft Avenue under the LRT station, along Padre Faura, just to be able to get uh, the queue. Yung queue kasi mahaba eh. Nag-start siya as early as 1 a.m. So, not knowing na mahaba yung treatment, the dilemma of where to stay, hirap. Even they have their relatives dito sa interview namin sa kanila. May mga relatives sila. In fact, kapatid pa ng nanay, kapatid ng tatay. Pero hindi sila nakakapag-stay ng matagal. Parang feeling nila, mas at home na lang dito sila sa bahay at ga. Kasi parang doon, nakikisama sila eh. Anyway, siguro that's ano, self-explanatory na hindi sila nakakatagal. Maybe yung economic situation din ng family ng kanilang mga relatives. And then, problem nga nila shelter. And then the food, where to get the food? Six meals a day, three times uh, a day. Napakahirap. And the most is your medicines, medical supplies, laboratory. Saan mo kukunin yan? So useless yung kanilang pagstay sa Manila kung wala pa. So in the beginning, ang, ang mission talaga ng Bahay Aruga is to provide free shelter, tubig, and ilaw lang. And that's it. Sabi ko madali na yan. But then as we go on, hindi na lang yun ay po-provide mo. Even the food, even the diapers, milk. I'm thankful to you Ms. Uh, uh, Ms. Chen, si Julina, si Serenity, na nag-provide din sila ng, ano, ng pedicure milk prior to this ano, event. So, yung 
pedicure meal kasi sa complete meal, nakita niya naman yung pagkain ng mga bata, hindi ganun ka ano talaga eh. Simple lang, mas maigi sa kanila ang prutas at gulay. And then, beyond that, mga pangangailangan nila, natuto na rin akong, or I decided na mag-organize uh, ng mga bloodletting activity. I go around different places, mga offices, mga organization, even the church. Nagpa-bloodletting activity ako with them. Ang partner ko is PDH Blood Bank Laboratory. Lahat na makukulit na, na dugo, naka-store yun sa PDH Blood Bank. And then, in case na kailangan ng mga bata ng dugo, I guess made an endorsement makukuha ng mga, mga nanay yun sa, ano, sa PDH. So, I see to it na meron kaming available na, na blood. Unfortunately, right now, zero-zero balance kami. Ilan ang naka-schedule ko for surgery, wala kami dugo. So, uh, I need to move fast now. And then, not only blood letting, yung mga gamot nila, laboratory, plus we assist them in going home. One, pauwi na sila dahil tapos na yung treatment. So, useless for them to stay. Pag alis nila dito, at least meron kami ma-accommodate na new patients. Ina-assist namin sila pauwi. That means transport, you know. And then, second na umuwi, yung mawala na. Na-experience ko rin mag-pull out ng mga body, ng cadaver sa morgue ng PDH. Hindi sila pwede mag-stay na matagal po. So, we assist them. Nakikiusap ako sa pari dito sa simbahan na to allow the body. Nakaano na yung may funeral ano na, kinukuha. While the permit to travel is being processed, nakaano yung bata ito na um, it's our time. It's our it's our time to give back. So all the blessings that God has given us. So yeah. So it's the purpose now to give back. What do you expect after giving this okay. to them? Um, well, one reason why we chose Bahay Aluga is isa siya sa mga charities na hindi masyado napapansin. And through this, um, advocacy, gusto namin na create ng awareness para um, our customers would know about Bahay Aluga. And in the end, um, in a way, our hoping na magkaroon ng more support at yung bahay. Last question ko. Uh, ano po bang resemblance sa brand or anything na parang nag- um, because I'm a mother, and di ba sa bahay aruga, this is a happy house for kids with cancer. So, um, because I've become a mom, and their mom, um, these kids have mom. So I know the feeling of your kid getting sick. Ano nga di ba? Ano lang ang um, burnout or si ko na gulo na gaalam na kami. How much more than? And to this this families, they really need financial support because you. It's, it's not, um, it's not, it's expensive. Okay, because um, when we, we thought of um, sponsoring or parang supporting a charity, we want something that would benefit the kids because we are, we are moms, both me and my sister are moms. So we did our research and napansin namin uh, and one of uh, napansin namin si Bahay Aruga maganda naman yung purpose maganda yung purpose niya and yun nga we want to create awareness para other people would also support Bahay Aruga. Well, uh, dun sa binigay na donations 15 pesos for the uh, brown of the brown sugar yeah. of our drinks. Okay. Uh, ano yun? Um, hanggang kailan yung period na yun? Uh, that was October October to December. Two months. Almost three months. So, what's, uh, do you have any other CSR projects? Uh, right now, ito muna yung focus namin. So, you'll be continuing to help? Uh, yes, uh, definitely. Uh, for how long sila talaga? I mean, for this project lang ba? Or you're still will continue it for long? Definitely, we have plans naman to continue doing uh, supporting chat. Pwede mo lang kung magkano. Oh, yun. 
Wait, may, may ball may ball park ba? Ball park. Uh, uh, it's about water. Ooh. So, mom, in case na kung si Baba Hayaroga, you donated it, pero they, have they parang given you a list na, okay, dito mapupunta yan, na para... Yes, yes. Ah, okay. So, alam niyo naman. Oh, yes, yes. Just in case lang, pa, kasi alam ko maraming services na binibigay sila. From that amount na dinonate ninyo, ha, gano, I mean, ano yung pinakamalaking per, percentage na mapupuntaan? Kasi I see there's chemo, there's parang uh, medical assistance. So, sa, sa proposal na binigay niya nila sa inyo na ito, dito mapupunta yan, ano yung pinakamalaking bulk na babagsakan ng pera? Well, basically, ah, uh, when they show us the figures, the oh. so, most gastos in the bill. The bills. Ah, bills. Ah, bills. Ah, okay. The maintenance. The maintenance. Yes. The maintenance. So, if you will see the facilities inside, the cabinet, the cabinet, the cabinet, the cabinet, the cabinet, the cabinet, laundry, electricity, oh. water. They are the food. Okay, I'm going to go to the house. Okay, I'm going to go to the house. Okay, I'm going to go to the house.